The weather here in Northeast Scotland has been pretty horrendous in January and so far in February. But I've been doing my best to get out and sketch and paint whenever I can. So since I've been a bit more homebound lately, I decided to take this opportunity and give you guys an update about my Etcher Slate Mini setup. So I'm going to show you exactly how I set mine up for watercolor, gouache, and drawing. This is more of a how I set it up and how I use it video. It includes some of the little items and, and things that I've used to customize it. And no, I am not sponsored. I bought everything with my own money and this is how I use it. The last time I showed you guys what I've been using, I introduced the Etcher Slate Mini bag, which is a shoulder bag, uh, but there's a lot more that it can do, which I'll show you guys. In addition to this, I also just go out with a backpack and some of my little supplies. I do quick little sketches here and there, sometimes sitting on a bench or on the ground, but I always take this with me, which allows me to sit anywhere. It's thermal and waterproof. So just attach this to whatever I'm wearing or whatever I have with me and I'm good to go. With the Etcher Slate Mini, this setup, it's a little more involved. So give me a moment and I'll show you. So I take my tripod with me most times because I usually also have my camera. I always keep this tripod attachment on my Etcher Slate Mini because then I never have to worry about having it or miss or leaving it at home because I, I used to do that all the time. <laughs> but now I have extra so it lives on this bag permanently. Um, okay, so it's on me. I'm walking around. I'm finding a spot. I pick a spot and I set down my tripod. And now it's time to set up. So the outer pocket on this actually fits quite a bit. And I've found that over time it stretches a little bit more. Probably because I usually stuff it full of things and that's what has caused it to stretch out. Um, but the awesome thing about that is that I can fit my gouache palette in here. This is my new sealable gouache palette, which I'll show you in a second. Quick update about the little pulleys, the zippers. I ended up attaching my own, it's a faux leather strap material, which is super, super strong. So I can pull as hard as I want on these and they're not gonna fall off. I, I lost all of the old pulleys that came with it. So that's a super easy and cheap upgrade that you can do. I find that it's easier to attach it before I open it up because once I open it up, everything is kind of flopping around. <laughs> so just get it on there nice and tight and then we can unzip it. So pretty much everything that I need is in here. That includes my sketchbook, my water, my, my drawing and painting materials or utensils. <laughs> Let me move it back a little bit. And I allow it to hang down because I don't really need this up at all times. I'll show you how I set it up in a second. But I came up with a way to ensure that my stuff doesn't fall off of this top section. We're going to have a first person perspective here so it's a little easier to understand. <laughs> so since I'm left, uh, since I'm right handed, I keep this right side a little bit more open. And my sketchbook is actually attached to this with this pulley that comes with the etcher thing. Um, and it's just attached under there with some Velcro. You can tighten this or loosen it however you need to. And I found these little magnetic clips. They are so handy for so many different things, but let me show you how I use them. First, I attach that to the top there. Then we take our handy little gouache palette. You can kind of see there's a little magnet or two magnets actually living inside there. So all I do is open her up and I usually don't keep this out. I don't need the silicone right now, but since this is a magnet and the magnets are in there, I just clip that and this can be moved around wherever I need to. And I just 
do that. And I actually had more magnets in there before, but I used them for something else recently. So usually it's much tighter. You can put big magnets in there because these are pretty big holes, pretty big wells. But yeah, that just kind of secures it a little bit more. And then, as I said, we have water. This is my water solution. These are sealable, airtight, watertight containers. Usually I think people use these for oil mediums. I'll put a link to these little things in the description. Um, but I have this separate clip. Um, it does come with a clip on it, but it's a little bit tight and it's harder to attach it to this. So I have this bigger clip that slides right on there and then I can loosen it or open it and simply attach it to the etcher. It's on the out, it's on this lip. So it's attached and it's really, really sturdy. I keep them both filled with water so that I don't cross contaminate. I use one for cool colors and one for warm colors. And they have these little silicone seals in them so they stay really watertight. And another really useful tool, this cool looking device is a portable brush. It's an Escoda Ultimo Tendo number 10, which is a synthetic, uh, I think it's a synthetic sable or something like that. But it's, it holds a ton of water and it has a really fine point on it. It's just so versatile. I haven't found this quality in a flat brush yet in the travel set travel type, but I'm still looking. If anyone knows of any, let me know. Um, but yeah, I can either use it without the long handle or I can attach that to it if I need to. And the lid on this palette is actually my mixing space. Like I'll do my first layer, clean this off, wait for it to dry, then do my second layer. And you know, it just is really easy. And when I'm done, I can easily pack everything up really quickly. If I need to, I could easily just um, like close everything up super, super fast and toss it all in my pockets because everything is so small. I mean, obviously I can't toss this in my pocket, but like this, once I close it, if I'm in a rush, I can put both of these things in my pocket, kind of fit everything inside there, close it up and zip it up and I'm good to go. Okay. So what about watercolor? It is so easy. <laughs> this is the metal clip that I showed you before with the little magnet on it. This is one of my metal watercolor tins. I pretty much only use the metal ones with this setup. So I open that up and I typically turn it so that the, um, the mixing space, the deeper mixing space is towards me because that's where I like to mix the most. And I clip the back of this side to that magnet. So like that and it just sets right there. Basically from the side, you can see that when I set this down, this falls on the magnet perfectly. It's the perfect angle. It holds it in place. It's not going anywhere. You can see down here, I have a bunch of different brushes. This is the portable round brush that I showed you before, which I love for watercolor. Oh, and by the way, since I don't have a travel version of flat brushes, I keep my flat brushes here as well. I could even put more than one magnet here if I wanted to make sure it was extra sturdy. Like if it really worried about this going anywhere, I could put more magnets. <laughs> you can fit a lot of magnets on here. If you wanted to pack extra light, you could use one of the smaller watercolor boxes or like in my case, I have a bunch of these portable painters and everything is self-contained. So if you have a plastic palette like this, obviously that's not magnetic. It won't stick to the magnets, but because these are magnet clips, <laughs> you could clip this to any of the open space and stick it. And that is, that's, st that's stuck. It's not going anywhere. So, you know, you can change the configuration however you want to, but maybe you want it to be at an angle or something, you can move it up there and you still have a lot of space. You can even put your brushes down here. You could even fit more metal water cups to the outer edge if you wanted more water. Speaking of water, I never 
leave my house without my water bottle and I have a few different water bottles but this is the one I take with me when I'm traveling so I drink this but I also use it to fill my water cups if I didn't do that before I left the house um, and there are so many different water bottles out there there's flat water bottles there are collapsible water bottles you can find all sorts if you don't have pockets or maybe it's hot out and you're just in a summer dress or shorts or something um, you can get one of these water bottle belts so the water bottle goes there and voila you have your water bottle hands free if you prefer to paint a little bit larger, I just want to show you that you can fit a 7 by 10 inch sketchbook um, on the left side or the right side, depending if you're right handed or left handed. But what I do is I get soft cover sketchbooks so specifically so I can fold the cover back and have it take up much less space. That is a huge reason why most of my sketchbooks are either soft cover or spiral bound because then I can just flip it over and it's half the space. So if I get tired, I can easily collapse the legs on the tripod and sit down somewhere. And because I have my little waterproof seat thing, it's easy to just to sit wherever I am. Uh, and I can also raise this and tilt it. Oops. You wanna make sure you have a good handle on, or a good um, grip on it before you mess with your tripod because there have been a few times when I <laughs> just kind of loosened everything and everything just like toppled over but it's really really stable I don't know it's hard to ex to show how stable it is on on screen but um, this is the perfect height when I'm drawing so if I'm out doing urban sketching or just want to draw instead of paint I can tilt this at an angle which is very ergonomic it feels really good on my wrist and stand here and sketch and because these are always in this position I can easily clip my uh, tools to them if I'm just setting them down for a second you know just so you don't have to worry about dropping them or losing them and because I know I'm gonna get a question about this it's a little hard to show but if you're worried about this hanging down and swinging around or if it's really windy you don't want it to be loose like that one thing I did the other day is I pulled this, this is a um, strap that's attached to it permanently. I pulled this in and I wrapped it around and I clipped it. So it was attached down here and that means it's not going anywhere. This thing is like attached, it's not blowing in the wind, but I don't mind it. I've never had a situation where this is like swinging out of control <laughs> because most times I'm not out in hurricanes. So if you have any questions about my setup or where I got anything, there is a link in the description for a blog post that I made that shows everything I just showed you guys. Uh, and hopefully that covers it. But as of now, as of February 2022, this is pretty much my favorite go-to plein air setup because it's just so convenient. It's so easy and I can have, you know, I can sit, I can stand, I can walk around I'm a free <laughs> and yeah it's just fun I know that these are a bit pricey and honestly you could make your own version of it but maybe seeing how I set it up gives you guys a little encouragement to just get out there and paint um, but let me know if you have any questions or if you can think of a way I could improve my setup with any other items I am all for that <laughs> uh, my, my setup is constantly evolving and it might be different in six months. So maybe I'll give you another update then. But thanks for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Take care.